Well, hey, welcome to Hold and Modify, YouTube's most poorly produced, underproduced Amiga channel. It's Q, your host, and you're joining me in progress. Well, probably looks a little familiar, doesn't it? Does it look like the monitor from the opening intro to all of my videos? Well, it is. But the difference this time is you're actually seeing it rendering on the Amiga in Amiga Lightwave. It took a lot of work, but I was able to finally convert this rather... Uh, complex model and texture set over to the Amiga Lightwave version. Now, I wasn't able to bring over the textures, of course, um, completely because they were far too large and the textures use a, um, a form of texturing called UV mapping, which is something that Lightwave Amiga version does not support. Amiga Lightwave supports projection style texture mapping, and it's just something that uh, is just not possible. So I had to kind of pick and choose and I had to go into uh, Photoshop on the Windows side and cut up the original texture maps that came with this really detailed 1702 monitor and cut those textures up in a way that they would work with the Amiga version. But I finally did it and uh, went ahead and did a nice simple little animation to show it off. But this was kind of a goal of mine to eventually get my opening uh, animation that I play in front of all my videos. I wanted to do a version that was native to the Amiga done on the Amiga because of course, right? I mean, this this is an Amiga channel and is, you know, I'm, I'm a professional graphics artist and that's why that my intro does look the way it does. It's, I'm very proud of it and it looks awesome, but it would just be a lot of fun to, to, to do something like that using a uh, Lightwave 3D on the Amiga. I mean, that's something I've shown repeatedly on this channel. And so it's a little goal of mine to at least get a version of it uh, to then, um, you know, be able to present to you. So yeah, this is a, a short video. I want to show you that uh, I did get this monitor over. I'm pretty happy about it. And then uh, let's go ahead and just play this little animation I did with it. And again, in the future, I'll, I hope to add to it and slowly reproduce my original Amiga intro. So here we go. Let's have a look. Ham 8, 640 by 360, running out of Lightwave. Took, uh, took, took a couple hours, even on the 060, the 4000 here. Um, I did compile it using Fred, an art department professional, and I'm using View to play it back, and it's actually playing back okay this time. Uh, I was having issues with this before. Uh, one of my first things I'm noticing is the reflections on the black are a little too clear and sharp. The black trim around the front of the monitor there, you can kind of see the table. If you look closely, there's like a, looks like a horizontal bar almost, uh, kind of like hovering in front of the, the monitor there. It's weird, but that's because I need to add a little bit of micro bump, which I've discussed in previous videos to try and make the reflections not look so clear and sharp. If you look at the table, the wood, see how the reflection of the monitor looks a little more natural, a little more realistic. That's because there's, there's bumping bump map on the table there to break it up. And I need to do the same with the black trim around the front of the monitor there. So we don't get that harsh reflection. And if I slow it down for you here, let me, uh, let me uh, get it. Uh, let's go back and view this again and slow it way down. So yeah, if you see that in the front there on the monitor, See, it's like light on the top and dark on the bottom around the front trim. That's just because we're seeing like straight reflection. There's no softening or breakup of it. So that looks a little janky, not not ideal. In a still image, it's fine. But as it animates, it definitely looks a little weird, as you can see here. Yeah. So anyway, I'm very happy, very thrilled. I'm glad to get this awesome 1702 monitor into real Amiga lands and into real light wave lands in the Amiga. And this is a lot of fun. This was a, a little bit of a challenge, but that's that's the joy of using this old software. You're using 30-year-old software and trying to do fun uh, fun lighting and animations with it. This is very basic animation, I, I understand. But uh, I hope you get a kick out of this, and I look forward to doing more. Thanks for watching.